Hello. Hello, Michelle. How are you? I'm great. How are you? I'm very well. Yeah. Uh, I like the uh, the Beatles t-shirt. Oh, yeah, yeah. Are you a big fan? Oh, yeah. My first, uh, my, it was my first band. Uh, Ringo was my first drum hero uh, when I was like 10 or something. Okay. Yeah, yeah, he made me want to play drums for sure. And th- this uh, was a gift from uh, somebody in the... Uh, Izmir in uh, Turkey. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> we're a great gift. <laughs> yeah, and they got the size right. It's that's always the hard part, getting the size right. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> <laughs> so, h- how are you feeling? We've got a new album due in two weeks. How do you feel in the in the last a couple of weeks before an album drops? I'm pretty excited actually. Just to, um, I'm waiting for the promo copies to get to me, and I can't wait to have it in my hands and everything. But it's always um, uh, kind of stressful uh, because um, we've wor- we've uh, we worked very hard on this one. We wanted it to be uh, as good, if not better, than the wake. So we gave it all, and uh, uh, it was hard after the the session to take a step back to judge what we had done, really. But the first three singles had a great reaction, so. Uh, the stress is uh, down a bit, but I, I really can't wait to see what people are going to think about this album. Yeah, so you said you were waiting for the promo to arrive. When that arrives, do you actually sit down and listen to it? I'm sure I will listen to it. Uh, and uh, it's um, it's been a while since I heard it, actually. Uh, and uh, But I um, uh, also love to, uh, to check if uh, the booklet, uh, if everything is cool. And uh, um, it, it's exciting uh, every time. We have like a pretty extensive catalog right now, and um, it's always great to have new releases. And uh, after like 39 years, and it's the same excitement every time. Yeah. So you mentioned there's a booklet with the album. How much did you have to do with the with the artwork this time? We did um, the session. Um, uh, we recorded the album over many sessions. The thing is, when we got into the studio uh, June of last year. Uh, it's also when the um, uh, festivals in the province of Quebec started again. So we were playing during the weekend and uh, recording during the week. It was fairly intense. And uh, so we did many sessions and every time I would draw something uh, at, in the studio, uh, uh, influenced by what we were working on. Uh, so I ended up uh, having a, a drawing for every song and uh, I, and I did it in black and white. Um, I wanted it to look like old uh, engravings and uh, I was trying to capture the vibe of the whole thing. So um, uh, I ended up with uh, many pieces of art. And so the booklet will be pretty cool, I think. This is your 15th album. The title is Synchro Anarchy. I, when I hear that title, it, instantly I'm like, that sounds like a Voivod record. <laughs> but, <laughs> because of, pan- of the pandemic, half of the work really <laughs> Uh, was uh, done while socially distancing uh, because uh, it was in mid-March 2020 that uh, the lockdown happened and we didn't have access to the studio anymore. So we were stuck with what we had recorded in early 2020, uh, just snippets of ideas. And then we spent months trying to build an album out of that. It was a huge puzzle. And um, uh, even when we got into the studio, um, last year, we were not 100% prepared because we are used to rehearsing a lot more before an album. So we were like still building the album while recording, uh, writing lyrics, music. And uh, uh, so the whole thing led us to think it'd be a a good idea to uh, call the album Synchro Anarchy. And it's also representative of the planet we are living on right now. So it's uh, it captures the whole thing. I first saw Voivod in 1986. I saw you play in London with Possessed. Yeah, and the English Dogs. That's it. You remember that show? Oh, yeah. It's also when I met the Broken Bones and um, fantastic memories of that. Yeah, yeah, me too, for sure. So obviously, as a band, you've been around. This is going to be your 40th anniversary this year. You- well, it's, um, it's actually next year... Um, uh, um, I mean, uh, Snake uh, joined the band in uh, January 83. So 
we're preparing a pretty big year next year, as long as this year as well. Okay, that's what I was going to ask you. You know, you always feel like a very forward thinking band. So I was wondering how you feel about a bit of nostalgia at this point. Well, um, on my end, I'm always trying to move on and think forward. And so I work a lot on reissues all the time. And last year, I took the opportunity, uh, opportunity to work on reissues for this year. So aside from um, having the new album out, we'll have like the um, Nothing Face and Rat on vinyl out and the Noise Catalog as a box set on vinyl and wow. stuff like that. And also we worked a lot on the... A documentary with Felipe Belalcazar, who did Death by Metal, and we are a lot, a lot of the work is done, so we are really aiming, still aiming to release it this year. Um, so uh, there's a lot of stuff we are working on all the time, and uh, next year there'll be a book, and we'll try to work something like a greatest hits, or we'll see. And uh, uh, but I must say that when I have to uh, work on reissues, there's a um, since I have all the archives. There, there's a lot of uh, scanning around and all that and um, involved, you know, and um, it's always a bit tough uh, to, uh, uh, let's say, see photos of, of Piggy or, you know, and um, so I'm always happy that uh, while doing that, I'm doing something fresh and new with Voivod, like a new album. It's very important to have the balance. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm sure like uh, next year, um, for the 40th anniversary, there'll be a lot of uh, uh, flashbacks and memories flying through and uh, and uh, in my brain. And so we'll try to, uh, I'm sure, uh, at the same time, work on something new. And I must say that the, the formula we had to uh, create to uh, make the new album happen will come very handy for the future releases, I'm sure. Okay. So I heard about the documentary a few months ago, I think. What can you tell us about that at this point? Well, um, um, it's actually something we started a while back with Sam Dunn, um, uh, but Sam got super busy. Uh, Felipe contacted me, sent me his DVD of uh, the documentary about the man deaf, and I loved it. And so uh, we supplied him with tons of archives. He did a lot of uh, interviews and... Uh, uh, we did a um, uh, crowdfunding that went way beyond expectation. We're lucky that we have a, such a loyal following. So um, there are still a few interviews to be done, not that many, uh, with Jason Newstead, Snake, and I. Um, the traveling part has been a bit difficult lately uh, because of the new confinement and all that, but um, uh, we're still aiming to release it this year for sure. Okay, great. And the last album, The Wake, won the Juno, which is is pretty cool. Does, yeah. Do awards like that change anything for you, or is it just a nice nod? Well, it got us, it got us a lot of attention, and it's always great. And um, it's um, it happened just when it it ha it happened right when we were touring The Wake, and as soon as The Wake came out. In 2018, we were starting a tour in Romania, going across Europe, and there was a big buzz immediately, and all the clubs were packed, and they had to move the show to a bigger uh, venue in Budapest, and it was super great. Then we won that Juno, did a few incredible tours, uh, went, went around the road a, a couple of times. It's um, We definitely don't take it for granted, especially that the album was very uh, prog rock oriented. And the fact that it was accepted like that, uh, it gave, gave us confidence. And, and then to, uh, to win the Juno and get the, um, yeah, the appreciation of the industry as well. And so um, we are really... Um, uh, enjoying the the fact that we are getting more and more popular these days. On this this album, like you've always had a bit of a progressive edge, like especially on on the last few albums. As, does this album take that to a different a different place? Is there any surprises for Voivod fans on this album? It's hard to tell. I mean, I know that um, uh, uh, Chewy and Rocky. Um, being uh, fans of Voivod since they were teenagers, they are they they like all the eras of Voivod, and I myself cannot hear that. 
uh, all the uh, yeah, uh, part like I can hear some Android rat, uh, Phobos, getting technology and everything. But then um, we jumped into that fusion metal thing. Uh, like a, we we have a futuristic style uh, combined with the older uh, thrash metal uh, punk trash that Snake and I can bring in, and you know. So uh, we're trying to. Uh, I think the fact that the wake was so well uh, received, it, it gave us the indication that we were heading down the right path. So we're trying to explore as many avenues as possible. Mm -hmm. And uh, on the wake, we uh, we had. Um, uh, string quartet and uh, then for the end of dormancy EP um, uh, brass quintet and so we'll, uh, we'll, uh, for the new album uh, I like the fact that um, Snake and Chewie put back vocals there and there that, that um, it gives the album a, a, vibe, a vibe of psychedelia that um, I really like and so we're, trying, we're still trying to be creative as much as we can if somebody had never heard Voivod, is there is that one song or one album that you would want them to start with? Tough question. I would probably recommend Nothing Face because um, I could go for Killing Technology, but but then people into other um, more accessible uh, material uh, would would be taken aback, and I could recommend The Outer Limits, but people into Trash Metal would. I don't know. So I think that the perfect balance would probably be nothing face. And do you, are you somebody that keeps up with new music? I'm very uh, retro. And if I buy a new album, it will uh, usually be an album, a new album by Heroes of Mine. But I, I think that um, Kidding Joke, Magma, Van der Graaf, Judas Priest, they still release fantastic uh, music. So I will buy it. Uh, in terms of new music, um, it's usually when I'm on the road with playing festivals with Voivod and then I'll get to see a band that will blow my mind. And the last one that I saw well, where my jaw dropped to the ground was uh, Gojira. Yeah. I think they're amazing. Yeah. If you, if you like Gojira, there's a band releasing an album today. They're called Celeste. They're also from France. Did you hear of them? No, I will look it up. Yeah, the, I think the album's called Assassins, or like Assassin, and the name of the band is Celeste, but there's yeah. also a, a female singer called Celeste. They're very different, so make, okay. sure, you, make sure you get the right one. Yeah, there's um, a, another band that came to my attention. I think they're called Cryptosis, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, um, I kind of like them a lot. Well, I hope to see you again. I've seen you multiple times over the years, so I hope we get to see you uh, very soon. But in the meantime, thank you for spending some time with me. It's been a pleasure chatting with you. And uh, congratulations on the new record. Thanks for having me. And uh, just uh, incidentally, I would uh, probably recommend people that don't know Voivod to uh, listen to the new album because it's really representative of every side of Voivod uh, crammed into one giant puzzle. <laughs> okay, so so nothing face and then straight on to the new album. Exactly. That sounds like a good, a good way to spend a couple of hours. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much. Stay All right, safe, thank Mark. you too. Have a good day. Cheers.